everyone, Monkey Man is a new film by director, writer, and actor Dev Patel. I am late to reviewing the film, but I did finally get a chance to watch it while I was in London on work. But before we get into the film, be sure to give this review a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for more videos. You will absolutely make my day. Thank you. All right. So, Monkey Man. It is a story of an anonymous man known as Kid who unleashes vengeance upon the corrupt elite in his area of India, including the police chief and the religious leader, who were instrumental in the murder of his mother when he was a young child. As an adult, Kid, played by Dev Patel, has become a trained fighter who is carefully positioning himself to gain access to Rana, the chief of police, by wiggling his way into the nightclub and restaurant that Rana's wife Queenie runs. When his opportunity to confront Rana finally happens, he finds himself outmatched against the chief of police and his department of corrupt officers. Not for the kindness of some new friends who help him out, Kid would likely not survive the night. But friendship brings strength and new relationships bring hope. And Kid soon finds himself with a second opportunity for justice, if he's willing to believe in himself enough to do what must be done. The most interesting thing about Monkey Man as a reviewer is that you can pull on so many different threads in your critique of the film, but we don't have time for that. So I'm picking three. I'm picking three themes that I think need to be addressed. It's very tender relationships, it's cultural themes, and it's violence. Now, I want to start with the tenderness in the film so that you can see how it balances out the other things that we're going to be talking about later. The main character's name is Kid, which is another way of saying child. This is important to the story because we see a steady stream of flashbacks throughout the film, especially in moments of turmoil and trauma, that juxtapose his current circumstances against the poignant and beautiful memories of his mother. Her smile, her beauty, her colorful clothing, her hugs and kisses, and her laughter as they play together. She is his world, and she protects him with her life hiding him even as the chief of police murders her and leaves her to die in fire and flames. The point of these scenes is to humanize Kid, which is important since he is a nobody in society. But the film shows us that a nobody matters to somebody. He loved and he was loved. And his mother was just one of many who were murdered or displaced to empower and enrich the corrupt elite. And because the man who killed her was the police chief, there was no one to dispense justice for her murder. And so Kid takes on that role for her and the others who suffer under corrupt officials. Monkey Man takes place in an Indian province, but I believe it was actually filmed in Singapore for technical reasons. Anyway, we get a fascinating look at the dark underbelly of the elite class within India, the power they wield and the corruption that fuels and funds their operations. However, the cultural side of the film goes so much deeper than that. We get views into how women are often treated like merchandise in some instances. We see the gorgeous textures and colors of their dresses and the art. We see the strength in their characters and in the face of hardships. And this extends to the transgender outcasts within society as well. The themes of feminine strength and beauty are very strong and you can't help but to appreciate the grit and determination that it takes to survive within a corrupt system run by elites who hold all the cards. You either play along or you get cast out and the elite don't care which choice you make as long as you don't endanger their power structure. Up to this point, I realized that I've made the film sound very feminine and very soft, which is true. 
it definitely has a soft and sensitive side to it. And it's important for you to understand that side of Monkey Man because this film, it is also one of the darkest and most violent films I have watched in a really long time. Some people have compared Kid to being an Indian equivalent of John Wick. But I think that actually diminishes what Dev Patel does in this film and who Kid is as a character. The violence as well as the violent undertones and overtones in the film are intertwined with pain and grief for the past as well as the faintest glimmer of hope for the future. And I think that last point is what makes Monkey Man's violence understandable, if not palatable. It is the brutalest movie that I've seen in a long time, and it doesn't hold its punches figuratively or literally. The love and potential relationships that glimmer in the shadows make you feel that peace and justice just might be possible for kid. However, the story weaves these three elements, tenderness, culture, and violence together in such a way that it binds them into this cohesive whole that each support the other in turn. This is the greatest strength of the script and directing of the film. But it is also Monkey Man's greatest weakness. There will be viewers who find the film far too violent for their taste. There will be viewers who find it too sentimental and soft, or dare I say feminine for their taste. There will be viewers who don't like the cultural themes or the religious takes. And there will be viewers who don't like the trans characters who are in the film either. However, if you remove any of these elements or reduce them to make the film more palatable to a wider audience, I think the hard edge that makes Monkey Man a unique and refreshing film would be eroded, turning it into just another action flick. If you are okay with these themes and with watching a very violent film, I think you will actually find that Monkey Man is well worth the cost of the theater ticket. It is Rated R for a reason, so leave your young members of your family at home and watch it with care when streaming since it will definitely not be the kind of film that everyone is comfortable seeing. However, it's a strong story with great acting and smart directing, and I think Dev Patel has made a terrific directorial debut with this film. So, have you seen Monkey Man? What did you think of it? I'd love to hear your take on the themes, especially those that I didn't get to cover in my review. So definitely add comments below and share your thoughts. I want to know what you think. And remember, if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much, everyone. I will see you again soon. In the meantime, happy viewing. Bye.